Dollar traders, it's Samurai Trader back again. How to day trade any market? The $1,000 a day challenge. So, traders, this is session 94. Now, in today's session, you're going to get to watch uh, me uh, execute five trades, and I'll explain step by step exactly what I'm looking for. So, you'll see I actually uh, executed. Uh, four trades hit my target but then a minute or two later I'd actually pause the video and I saw another great setup which I'll explain so it really uh, topped the day off quite nicely all well and truly wrapped up in under an hour now if $1,000 a day is not enough for you you simply increase the number of contracts that you trade but of course at the same time we always follow our money management rules that is we never risk any more than 2% in a trade now uh, I do need to just pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and the great thing about trading platforms today you can actually trade on the simulator before you actually go live a very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook the truth about day trading please click on the link below also in the link below you can also download the spreadsheets that I use so you'll see them in a moment where I talk about the realistic potential returns that you can earn as a day trader so you can actually download that and there's a video that goes with it which shows you how to actually use it correctly okay so you can download that in the description link below as well now make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with any new videos that I release even better still become a member so just uh, I'll just be another 30 seconds here so for $197 you receive all of my indicators there's hundreds of hours of videos there's 35 powerpoints there's um, you know you name it it's there and as my members subscribe it's an absolute gold mine there's nothing else like it there truly isn't so you can go to my website uh, or click on the description link to lot below to join uh, I also have a bonus going where you can also receive eight live coaching sessions so you can uh, uh, join my live coaching sessions that is every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 to 8 p.m. for two hours I run uh, and if you can't attend the live session they are recorded where I go through everything from the psychology of trading money managing ma money management excuse me I'll put my teeth back in uh, right through to exactly how to trade the setups then after the first month uh, you can sign on for uh, 97 a month now if you visit my website you'll see my programs gone up to uh, 297 and I'm now charging 297 for the live trading room or the coaching room so just make sure you use the links here otherwise you will pay a little more on my website okay end of ad let's get into this first of all traders I'm going to be showing you five different trades now three of those trades were trend following and two of them were counter trend trades now this is how you truly get wealthy day trading that is if you're a new trader or if you've been struggling and I know many of you have uh, already seen my videos and you see me talk about this set in nearly every session just hang around we'll be through this in a moment but when you want to master or going to master the, the art of day trading you don't want to have it too hard not too easy just right in other words we generally start you off uh, I've got over 15 great setups but you only want to start off with um, just a handful two or three of the best of the best trend following strategies all right because counter trend trading as you will see me do uh, can be tricky all right but I've been doing now well I've been day trading now for 28 years so I know the patterns and all of the setups that I teach are pattern based so very important if you look at the CT trades forget those the counter trend trades that I trade uh, initially we just want to have you focus on the trend trades now let's also talk about what is a game changer and that is most traders unfortunately are being sold that um, it's a get rich quick you can make a fortune very very quickly trading Forex trading futures create trading crypto yes there's the occasional person that flukes it however it's the wrong approach now just imagine here earning an extra 
$1,000 a day now 5,000 a week would be a life changer for most people how do you achieve that just $100 a day and with a trading pool of 20 to 30 thousand dollars that's not a bad return on your capital is it now as you'll see like today in today's session I ended up achieving over $300 in a day in under an hour so you don't also don't have to sit at your screen all day but by starting at that level you're building both your confidence and your competence now you start off with one contract by the way so and then I'll show you how to actually start with a very small account as well so I teach my members and this particular member he's now if I remember uh, I've actually got a slide I didn't include it here I think he's on about $250 a day now he's now averaging so he started off 100 a day and build your account and you build the target that you're after um, over a period of time it builds what you call both your confidence and your competence now in today's session and in most of my videos you'll see I trade with Renko charts but I love tick charts as well now what I teach you in these sessions you can apply to any chart type I've got a lot of members that love heart charts which is a combination between Heike and Arshin and Renko a little thing we've put together it works really well just smooths even the hiking hike and ash out even more so it doesn't matter which type of chart but I've got my favorites now in today's session we're talking about um, uh, some trend trades that I took I entered a trend trade here I took what I call a CT trade here I then took a uh, trend trade here and another one what we call a bet the farm and that come down within one tick of stopping me out as you'll see when we get to the chart now generally I would use up to a 16 tick stop now this is um uh, and you you'll see it on the recording this was actually about 8 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time so the market reopens at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time it closes for an hour and so you can be trading futures the futures markets basically 23 hours a day five days a week now during the evening or what we call the Globex session I will trade a four tick Renko on the NQ that is if I'm trading say the YM or the Russell I'd trade a, between a two and a three tick so it just depends on the market but once you hit the New York session you're going to have to be charging uh, charging trading a higher time frame okay so you'll see this when we get to this now I then wrapped up my trading so I'd finished that up that was all over in 25 minutes then I had um, uh, and I'll talk about this but I had this great angulation trade set up that was a 2d now unfortunately I click um, because it was taking so long it was taking a little while to actually um, to uh, fill or to, to exit the trade that uh, instead of clicking uh, uh, pause I clicked end video so unfortunately it doesn't show it coming all the way down here it's because it took a, a wee bit of time to do that now when I say a wee bit it was only three or four minutes later so down it came down and then bounced and I was actually looking for a larger target now for members watching this video you know I would normally exit at the 89 here I was actually being a wee bit greedy and what actually happened then it bounced very quickly and I got a fair amount of slippage um, when I exited this trade where I really should have got out down here at the 89 now this is uh, I think is still was wrapped up in well and truly under an hour so still not a bad return after commission so that was five out of five so I'm going to play you the replay of uh, and I'll describe what I'm doing because I, I started recording sessions and uh, I usually don't record sound at the same time so it allows me to stay focused on the trading now before we get there um, I want to give you a roadmap that anybody can basically use a realistic roadmap now unfortunately it's not going to get you rich quick but it will get you rich slowly okay now first of all you've got to have a goal a realistic goal and the realistic goal will be this 
now you can get going trading doing exactly what I'm going to be showing you uh, with a $400 account because you're going to be trading what we call the micro account which is 10% of the value and so averaging just $20 a day on a micro so if you start with 400 even if you've got 4,000 which is ideally what you want or need to trade a four tick Renko on the big contract doing it safely don't get conned on the BS out there oh, it's okay to risk five percent or you can just trade you know using one or two thousand dollars you're going to blow your account plus you blow your confidence okay so let's approach this correctly there's only one way to master the art of day trading it's the right way the first time so with $20 a day within 12 weeks now you're trading maybe one or two hours a day let's just say two hours you've now got 4,000 in your account you can now start trading the big contract now is that realistic well this is where trading the micro NQ which is what we're talking about you can see here it's a live account uh, within no time $63.75 and you can see they're trading one contract so yes it is $20 a day is realistic if you're following the rules now once you've got that four thousand dollars we now roll over okay so in 12 weeks you've got your four thousand we now roll over and start trading the big contract and instead of going for twenty dollars a day we're now going for two hundred dollars a day per contract now you'll see in virtually every one of my videos I do this well in in well under an hour okay now I have to say I'm been trading for 28 years so you need to be allowing a few hours and is is what I do typical no you've got to put the work in okay how I trade and as you'll see when I get to the live trade it's pattern based you can do this but you've got to learn the fundamentals okay yes I can give you a lot of shortcuts but you still got to get the screen time but the great thing is trust me this is not rocket science now what it means here is basically uh, where is it on this slide you start off with 400 within 24 weeks my accounts now 46,000 and I've got a $10,000 a week plus income potential on only $200 a day now uh, I would say allow longer than that because before you go live you're going to trade on the simulator so you'd be allowing at least 34 weeks but there's nothing else like it out there with this true potential but who is this not for well day trading is not for the get rich people okay or those that with a tiny account that want to risk 10% of trade and they just you know hang on to the side of a desk with uh, like grim death hoping that the trade comes off there's only one way to approach it it's the right way the first time now generally to hit you two hundred dollars a day on this time frame you, you need between three and four net trades a day that's after any losses okay and we've got a number of um, a trend following strategies you can just follow to achieve that now just before I play the recording there's a couple of things here that we do need to consider now the recording goes for seven or eight minutes and I'll just let it run continually and uh, I'll just describe what's happening but when we trade you'll actually see me scrunch the charts up that is pull them down compress them because what I'm checking is where are these levels because these play a very important role and once you have these um, explained how they work it's really easy and there's indicators that basically put these on your charts anyway but there's all these are what we call price magnets that is they attract price and they also act as support resistance areas so let me now play the recording and I'm going to explain I'll try to keep my um, pointer off because it just oh look we'll just I might have to bring it up a time because it just brings this up okay so first of all I entered this trade here this is what we call a 3b and I was actually in this trade uh, quite late unfortunately so I jumped in on this one I'm actually long five contracts now uh, I actually I'm a scalping you see already I was out of that trade just went bang hit my target 
now I'm a scalper which means I generally will use fixed targets okay so I'm after and I call these steps usually I'm after I'll, I'll go to to break even which is my entry price once I hit five steps and I'm after seven steps in total now that means I go to break even at $50 per contract that's my entry price and I'm after ideally $70 per contract now of course the market can keep moving now just there see what I'm doing just there I'm checking what's in front because if you've got a pivot or a major support like for example here's a pivot right here and see there there's the 200 these act as support resistance levels now this is a quick scalp I'm taking uh, now this is a reversal trade for members watching it's not a t3 I had uh, some divergence on uh, one of the anchor charts a little bit of divergence here and so I was just after a quick scalp here so I'm in the trade uh, and just re my stop I like to place my stop one tick above uh, a swing or one tick below unless I'm in there we are we're already filled unless I'm in the trade late so if I'm in the trade late traders uh, I'll usually leave my stop loss where it might be here and on this time frame um, uh, I like to just use and let me just pause this I need to pause this so I like to use a 16 tick stop loss here now 16 ticks uh, is $80 so remember I said you need uh, $4,000 to trade this time frame it's because typically uh, as a maximum I've got an 80 tick stop loss now if you're trading the micro where you only need $400 your stop loss is only eight dollars okay but that tends to work really well here and now just see here you can see that I've entered this trade using a, a buy stop order and my stop loss is not under this little swing as yet so what you'll see me generally do is adjust my stop and the reason being on my dome where when I enter a trade it all automatically puts my uh, exit order in and my stop loss I've usually only got it set to 12 so it means I'll sometimes it's 14 just depends on a couple of things but usually it's 12 which means I might have to adjust it now if I can get away with a 12 tick stop it means my risk is lower so let me now hit uh, go here now I want you to notice the high of this as well so see where my exit order is just there it's pretty much at that swing high which is this is what we call a swing high and remember before I said you want to know where your intraday swing highs are and the low that's one of those areas and the reason being we can quite often go up to those levels and bounce now you'll sometimes see it jerk backwards and forwards and that's because when I type on the um, screen sometimes it'll go off screen and it does a funny thing so you'll have to excuse it when it does that now very soon you'll see me put in another order now at the moment this stop is one tick below the little swing just here where I will add to a trade is if I feel I've got a, a very high probability set up um, on the way like just here potentially I've got here and for members watching this we've got a bet the farm set up potentially so what I'll do there's certain things that need to happen but I'll have a resting order in the market so if it comes up and fills me fantastic I'm in my bet the farm if it doesn't okay I'll just cancel the order or if say if this comes down and stops me out remember I'm already long five contracts here um, uh, I get stopped out with only five now hopefully that makes sense what was I going to say ah money management here I traded only a 0.5 to 1% risk which means I can add to a position without breaking my, um, uh, my or the 2% rule if you're already long here on that uh, first trade back here which is a 2b 
uh, well then you uh, would not be able to add to your position here the bet the farm okay I'd recommend that you don't so now I'm long 10 contracts my stops are uh, one tick under each uh, key point here and you can see here I'm targeting this swing high now I'm not sure if I just as a reminder whether I scroll down again in a moment uh, just to check what's above but I should have a pretty good eye idea here now obviously uh, and so you can see there I hit five steps went to break even I then hit my target uh, with the first lot of contracts hence I'm out now just here you can probably see I lift um, up my stop loss here well really to lock in profits and to cover my trade up here if it comes back and stops me out now the reason for that traders is this swing high okay we may continue and quite often we do but I'm a scalper the way I look at it I can always get back in all right I, I want to hear that cash register ringing so that's what uh, has happened here now a couple of minutes later so I'm out here I've put in let me just pause this here so 25 minutes of trading four out of four and that is uh, um, a with trend uh, CT and two trend following trades one was a 2b one was a bet the farm now let's watch what happens here see this and I what's paused I'll point this out see the EMA that's called angulation just there that's called angulation see this here I'm getting angulation as well now when I get angulation with a number of other conditions particularly on what's happening on one of my anchor charts it gives me a very or a potential for a very high probability reversal trade so let's now display this now in a moment you'll see actually it cuts off I, as I said I hit the wrong button ah now just here um, so I was going to uh, record a, a video for members here so on the way up all of those were legitimate uh, 2b entries so if you're a member watching they were all two or three b entries there's a really nice 2d there and if I remember correctly that was even a 2d as well okay so here um, we had a 2bd but look at the trend here so good reason to keep taking these trades so I didn't take these uh, here was another 2b which I was on and then I jumped in on this one so just up here I could see I'm getting great angulation and so members uh, if a members watching this I can't remember I may have actually had a t3 uh, and actually that's right it was a t3 setting up as well so I had a whole lot of reasons to be really interested in this reversal trade so I'd already finished but I couldn't help myself there so I didn't, I've taken this trade here yes it was a t3 uh, and if I remember correctly it may have even been a 2d as well now when I take these reversals I want to target the 89 okay now unfortunately you don't get to see me pull that down uh, because I silly me I pushed the wrong button I went to pause it because it sort of stalled for a while so I thought I'll just pause it and just wait uh, and so you you missed out on that but let me just pull this back up again I think uh, here's the screenshot here so you may remember the my to exit to cover the trade it was up here somewhere I then pulled it down to below the 89 now unfortunately and and that was a mistake and most of you uh, that are members know that uh, really I'm normally out at the 89 so and and do you know what quite often some of your um, uh, silly trades come after a heap of winners that is if you have a really great run well this is not just fairly average run here but if you have a great run or a good day quite often you can get very slap happy you know oh, she'll be right I'll increase that or I'll do this and and you usually end up regretting it so my my target was down below the 89 which was just a silly thing to do and it came down bounced up and you can see I ended up getting out a lot later than if I had of um, had my exit covered the trade at the 89 so it still was um, five out of five and uh, a great trading session however 
um, uh, a valuable lesson so traders this is not rocket science it's a everything I've shown you here is pattern based it's based on rules they're high probability rules based patterns you've got to put the work in that is you've got to get the screen time um, I teach you in the live classes how to trade these uh, but you've got to be willing to put the work in and the reason I say that some people will watch a YouTube video and it's a bit like you know reading a book on swimming or maybe flying a plane you can read a manual but you really need to get that instruction and put that work into it but anyway come and join me for $197 you get my entire program plus you can attend eight of my live coaching sessions uh, which go for two hours each session uh, and after that you can actually uh, drop me an email and say hey this is great and you can continue for to uh, for nearly said that's my website price 297 now but for for uh, $97 a month thanks traders another great day and uh, I'll see you in my next video